YouTube, welcome back to the JL Fizzy channel. Welcome back to my first FIFA 20 video. I was lucky enough to be selected for the FIFA 20 beta. Obviously, everyone's been getting random emails about what game modes you can play, what game modes you can't play. I was lucky enough to be selected for FIFA Ultimate Team and for kickoff. Um, I don't play kickoff, but FIFA Ultimate Team is my forte, as you all know. Um, and today's video is just gonna be me describing what's good with FIFA, what's bad with FIFA, and what's all over the place with FIFA 20. It's gonna be the pros, gonna be the cons, and yeah, everything is just my opinion, so don't hate. Make sure to smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, join Team Boozer. We've got so much FIFA 20 content coming out once the game is obviously released to the public. And yeah, make sure the socials are all below, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, all the good stuff. Turn the bell on so you never, ever miss an upload. Let's get into the video. All right, bro, so the first pro that I think, in my opinion, for FIFA 20 that is looking absolutely mint is finesse shots. Finesse shots seem to be back, but they're not back. They're not overpowered back, you know? This ain't gonna be finesse 20, people. This is not going to be Finesse 20, yeah? We know Finesse 19 was all over the place and people were just going absolutely ballistic. But it's ain't the one, it's ain't the one. They seem good, they seem reliable, but they don't seem too overpowered where it's literally everyone spamming a Finesse. And I love that. Me, I love a Finesse, yeah? I love a Finesse. I like to, I prefer to finish with a Finesse than to finish with a power shot. It just looks so much more sexy, so much more clean, and I think it's going to be a great addition to FIFA 20. All right, bro, so pro number two, is, and everyone knows this, let's be real, who doesn't love a grind? I know I do personally, right? So in FIFA 20, from the beta, you can tell there's so many ways to grind the game. So many ways. I don't want to hear no excuse about coins, no excuse about I can't get this player, that player. Obviously, everyone has their certain amount of time that they can spend on the game. But with what FIFA 20 is bringing, the amount of content, the amount of promotions that are going to be going around, I'm so excited for FIFA 20. I legit cannot wait. It's going to be absolutely mental. you got milestones, season objectives, daily challenges, weekly challenges, league SBC grinding, division rivals, and from the main event, Hell Champs is back. Baby, yeah, Foot Champions is obviously going to be back with division rivals and you know all the normal stuff, but milestones and season objectives, those two, the two new I say features that have been added, are going to be absolute. It's just going to be so sick to have things that I can grind towards, knowing that if I do this, I'm going to get that. That's what I like. I love a grind to get to that ultimate team, to look, to look into the far distance, to see that goal. That's what I want to grind towards, and I know you do too. The third pro that we've got, ah, and oh my god, hallelujah! Play some music for me, baby. AI defending has been completely minimized. Uh, I say it's been destroyed, it's been absolutely violated. There's no more blocks, no more lucky, lucky legs sticking out, all this yoga action, all that nonsense. None of that. You want to defend, you're using your pure skill. Pure ability, your mind, everything. There's gonna be no more just random, you know, AI defending for me here, AI defending for me there, all over the place. There's none of that. If a game does everything for you, you're not good at the game. The, the game is good at the game. You're not good at the game. Trust me, it's gonna be an absolute madness. I'm actually so excited for FIFA 20, guys. I, I, I legit can't wait. But now, let's get on to this, uh, to the, to the negative side, the little cons of the game. Alright bro, so the first con that I've noticed, the first little thing that I've noticed, obviously a lot of people know this because EA released it on their um, website, the new feature that's back. It ain't a new feature, the backwards dribbling, right? Backwards dribbling. The problem is in the name, think about it. It's completely backwards, bro. How can you minimize AI defending where everything is completely manual, which is a good thing, it's a good thing, but then bring back one of the most overpowered things I've ever seen in a FIFA game. The backward dribbling movement is ridiculous. Backward dribble, backward dribble, boom, you're gone. Safe, see you later. It's game over, it's a wrap. I've played the game, so many people have been doing it on me. I'm not saying that it's not a good feature to add in the game. What I am saying is it's way too overpowered with the level of the AI defending. I just don't think it balances out. If you're gonna completely minimize AI defending, something like backwards dribbling is way too overpowered in this game, in my opinion. Because people are gonna abuse that, let's be real. We know FIFA. Every year, people abuse things. They abuse it. Let's be real. That, that's how it is. 
things that are to be abused, things like game mechanics, let's be, like, it happens, it happens. But yeah, that's the first glitch, I say glitch, first con that I've noticed about FIFA 20. Alright bro, so the second con that we're gonna talk about today is the first touch, man. I'm not gonna lie, but you feel like you're Lukaku in this. I'm, I'm telling you. You feel like you got your Timberland boots on, the ball is moving across the motorway, when all you want, you want a simple, nice, silky, class touch. Nah, that's ended up down the road, mate. See you later, out of the stadium, safe. When passing feels so clean on this game, right? And I'm so happy that it does, because I know in FIFA 19, the passing was a bit mad. Passing feels so good on this game. I, I, I genuinely believe that. I don't know if everyone else feels like that. I feel like that. But yeah, anyone who's played the beta or anything, let me know in the comments down below. Anything that you want to like, anything that you disagree with, let me know. But to me, passing feels great. So if, if someone's making a clean pass to me, I expect a clean touch. It's not happening. It's not happening. But that's the second con that I've noticed. Hopefully they do fix that. Um, because I don't want to have a horrible first touch here because we've had that throughout FIFA 19. Alright bro, so the third con that I've also noticed is a, is, a, is a bit of a different one, you know? It's a bit of a different one. I didn't really think this would be a thing, but it is a thing. It's mad. And that is, goalkeepers seem to have turned to freaking ninjas. They're moving, they're moving absolutely mad. When you're one-on-one -on -one and someone presses that triangle button to dash the goalkeeper out, they're moving full ninja speed to you, yeah? And going like this, going like this, going like this with a samurai freaking sword, bub. Going, Hiya! it's mad. They can literally save anything. I think uh, seven, eight, I would say eight to nine times out of ten, they're saving your one-on-one -on -one if they're running at you. I swear, down. There's no, uh, unless someone can tell me how to counteract this, I have noticed they run out for you, and it took me a while to clock this on, but I, I remember some guy, one guy, he spammed it all game, and I didn't score. I could not score. It was so difficult. So I hope that this is a bit of a weird feature. I hope they kind of remove it. I don't want keepers to be running around like they're freaking ninjas and just jumping around everywhere like it's an absolute mad thing. Um, but yeah, with that being said, bros, I really hope you did enjoy this video. That's been my pros and my cons, my best and the worst of FIFA 20. Make sure to smash a like on this video and please subscribe if you are new around here. Turn the bell on so you never miss an upload. I'm almost at 500 subs, bros. Don't let me down, man. Don't let me down. Let me see those subs going up and I hope you do enjoy the content. We're going to have plenty of FIFA 20 content coming across and yeah. I've got a new video, a different type of video coming out um, soon as well. It's going to be completely it's football related. You'll see what I mean. Socials will be down in the description box, so make sure to follow them up as well. My Snapchat, Instagram, and my Twitter is all down there. And yeah, so show me some love, people. I love all of you. Thank you so much for everyone who supported me. I know it's been a while since I uploaded. I do apologize for that. But we're gonna get we're gonna get more consistent, 100 percent With that being said, bros, I've been your boy, and I hope you enjoyed. And I'm out. Peace.